Chris Taguchi, congratulations, Grand Slam champion here in Alambata. How are you feeling to take the title today? Um, so today's plan was after the world. Um, the plan was just to come back on the mat and get ready for Masters. So I am kind of surprised that I won the first place. But it feels nice. I, when I got the red back patch before, I couldn't, I couldn't fight much because of the COVID. So I'm very happy to have the red back patch and the medal at the same time. Yeah, how does it feel when you've got that? It, obviously, it's like a statement, you're the world champion, but it's also kind of a target, like it puts pressure. How, how, does, uh, how does it feel to walk out to the tatami with the red back patch? So before when I got it, I was like the, I s felt like I was hunted down. And I had, I felt a lot of pressure, stress. Um, but this time, I guess I got, I grown up and I do feel like a couple of stress and pressure, but today I felt like I'm ch challenger. So I didn't feel like I have red back patch. So it means, I think it means good. The uh, Ouchigari, I think it was in the semi-final. You uh, you charged in. It was really nice. It came from a distance. Talk talk me through the like attacking. You barely even got your grip, Kumikata, and bam, there was the ifon. Talk me through this moment. I did hit her face with my head, so that's like I'm very sorry about about that. But I know that she will jump in, and yeah, I. I I don't know. I I know it was coming, so I just did what I good at it, and I did that in world like same kind of technique. So I guess this is my my what style, style uh, like a it's like a fashion. Uh, it's the Ochi week or Ochi month for me, I guess. <laughs> so Jessica in the final, you have a very good record against her, but the last time you met she won. How did that loss before uh, affect your approach to this fight? Um, I think the last fight was like I didn't fight for like long few years and at that moment I couldn't do nothing. She she controlled my everything that I'm good at it. She she just defeat and she got she won. So this time, I try not to do the same judo like before because I know it won't work. So I tried something like, because I said earlier, this wasn't my I have to win competition. I wanted to try something out. Eventually it didn't work out. It wasn't fun competition for me to see, but I guess I know a couple things that I can do not just to her, like in the future. And yeah, I feel confident. And yes, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here in Mongolia, but when you came off the tatami, there was like a kid with a sign, which had like a message for you. Like what are moments like this? And, and like, how, how was it to fight in front of the Mongolian crowd? So I've been in a lot of country but I think Mongolian is the, like Mongolia is the like, I don't know, how they cheer a lot, cheer for me. And I feel, I don't know why, but I feel like, um, not hometown, but I feel comfortable here. And I hope I can, s I can give some uh, little dreams to the kids and they can fight in a match someday. So it was very nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was very nice. I want to dream it. Up. I want to, when I go to bed today, today, tonight, I want to dream it about this again. It felt very nice. So this is uh, the first competition that's 100% points for the Olympics. So this will count 100% as a result. Um, how do you see this event as a um, as part of your path? towards your Olympic dream? So now I need a point to go to the Olympics. So yeah, la last, last 
season. Like for the Tokyo, I didn't need much points. I just have to win at the Worlds. But this time I need a point. So um, I would try, well, my next will be the Masters. So I would try hard there and I will keep going, keep, keep trying to stay at the number one ranked person with a red backpack. So yeah, now points is very important for me. So I, I would try harder, yeah. So you probably anticipated this next question, but it's quite a unique medal. <laughs> it's cool. Um, what do you plan? <laughs> okay. you I'm really pushing you here, but what do you plan to do with this medal? So when I f first saw this, Mm, so now Japan is getting very hot, humid. So <laughs> I will use this as a fan to um, keep my makeup on. So now I have a mirror and a fan, so it should be uh, fascinating in Japan. <laughs> and finally, you actually uh, left this behind at the World Championships. This is your one from the World Championships. Yeah. So I thought I should return it to you because uh, oh. you, 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 yeah, yeah. You left it with us at the, so now you have the two from today as well. So oh. there you go. There's the one from today and the one from the world. So much gold. How do you feel? Million, bi million biller? Uh, dollar? Dollar? Well, but I'm so far from that, but I feel like rich person. Thank you so much, Krista. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs>